It doesn't matter the weather in ATV National Pro Motocross. These boys will churn it up and put in a show like they did the last time out at Pleasure Valley in Pennsylvania. But despite the crashes and passes, familiar faces were at the front with hometown hero Joel Hetrick and Chad Weenan duking it out. And while others ran into trouble, Weenan was able to hold on for a big first Moto win. Then in Moto2, Hetrick nearly tossed it away and found himself at the absolute back of the pack and trying to make moves to salvage points while Weenan was headed to a 1-1 on Hetrick's home turf. Hetrick was making moves all over the track, eventually bulldogging his way to the number two spot to salvage the day while Weenan grabbed some momentum, heading into everyone's favorite. It's Redbud! Next on Mav TV. Welcome back to coverage on MAV TV of the ATV National Motocross Championship. We're at Redbud, the very famous, perhaps most loved of all, track in this sport, right here in the center of America on the Michigan and Indiana state line. Huge crowd here, both for watching and for racing. That's the cool thing about this series. Amateurs, including the kids, the vets, the women's divisions, and everything in between get to compete on the same weekend as the pros. Quick tour of the pits, there's Jeffrey Rastrelli's crew. And Mark McLernan coming over from Ireland, making his debut for the season. Max Lindquist continues to climb the ranks. He's one of the young stars of the championship. Terrini coming out of Italy. It's been fun to have him with us all year. Logan Stanfield, probably his best season ever we've seen so far. 15 is Janusa. There's Merman. Bryce Ford getting ready. Cody Ford, his brother as well. Zach Decker also having a great season. Brandon Hogue on the podium. It was an awesome weekend for me with the podium. and. Yeah, just really good vibes coming into here. Uh, I did pretty well here last year, so I'm really excited to get racing, and I feel like my machine's working really well, um, and we feel good, so just try to get good starts and, and see where we end up. Hogue has been on the podium in three of the last four races. It's going even better for the 88 of Joel Hetrick carrying the red plate as the points leader. Today, coming into Redbud, track looks pretty good, and uh, we're looking to go out there, obviously get two good hole shots, and at most, you know, come out here with a, an overall win would be great. End of the day, split points would be all right, too. Going to the Loretta's with the same points gap is always the goal, and uh, just have fun doing it. Ready to put it out in the track and uh, just see what we can do. Qualifying's coming up here soon, and we're just ready to go out there and have some fun. Kind of a vibe of beginning from the Hetra camp lately. He's been fast for years, sometimes luck cost him the title. I think he's already into championship management mode with a solid points lead. You wouldn't tell it though in qualifying, opening it up over these famous rollers here, modeled after the Millville track in Minnesota. Chad Wien in big air there. We'll talk to him a little bit later in the program. Gosh, look at this dirt at Redbud. And the jumps, the layout. You can tell why everyone likes this one. Is Hey! Nick Janusa powers by. There's Ford on the number four. That's not a Suzuki, but it's got the old yellow colors there for Max Linquist. There's Rastrelli into the sand rollers. Doing a good job fighting off the kids to get into the podium area throughout the season. Decker, really good at the last race, it ran into some equipment problems. But I really feel like uh, Decker and this rider, Logan Stanfield, have been quicker this year than in the past. They've stepped up the game for sure. Cody Ford at the number five. There's the Irishman, Mark McLernan, renting a quad actually from Max Linquist to be able to race here in America. That's awesome. Oh, now they're just showing off. Farman Gloop puts these shows together and his cameras and his crew. We just saw Cesar Jimenez and there's Marshall Smith. Love to see guys out there running the old Suzuki. Here is your qualifying head trick ripping so far today. ATV Motocross on MAV TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires.
We're back to Red Bud. Chad Weenan coming off a 1-1 at our last race at Pleasure Valley. Championship hopes still alive after an uncharacteristic slow start this year. I feel like we got something really good for today coming into this race. Uh, I did some tuning. You know, it's just all about get, executing my starts and getting out there and having some fun and uh, putting it out here for the Midwest. Let's go. The Midwest is putting out some heat and humidity today. It is super tough. See the water truck out here. Fans trying to stay cool. This might be the diff most difficult physical test of the year, especially consider how uh, rough this track is. Also, see some high and low lights from our uh, youth and amateur racing. Luckily, that guy was okay. But the uh, rider's gonna have to figure out a way to conserve energy and stay cool in the humidity here in the summertime at Redbud. Time for our first of two motos today here at Redbud. Chad Weenan, Joel Hedrick getting ready to resume their championship battle, and this should be a good one. Bryce Ford has the camera, the Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board, and we are underway. Oh, bumping and banging around in the first turn, and Weenan is going to enter turn one at about fourth and emerge with the lead. And then I believe that's Hedrick that somehow snuck by him. And in the number one spot is the Phoenix Racing Yamaha rider. So it's kind of a justice serve because Hedrick led him into the first turn, some banging, and that allowed uh, Weenan to get by, and Hedrick immediately repasses and now throwing down early on. Wanted to let you hear, you can tell how rough the track and choppy it is. Look at that! And Hedrick almost off the racetrack. And this is a strength always of Wien in those long legs. He can work the sand rollers. Oh, he had a wheel on the inside. Still does. Almost able to clear the tabletop from the inside. And Hedrick able to survive that first lap. Couple of attacks, couple of lunges, as they would say, in road racing from Weenan. One lap in the books. Rastrelli in third, Hogue, Janusa, Ford. So choppy through there and making moves right now is Janusa. He gets around Hogue around the outside. A little bit better through that rough stuff. This might be the roughest track I've seen this year. It's a different type of rough, though, with these roller-type bumps. Obviously, the sand rollers here, but in and out of the corners, those big berms. This is not the natural soil here at Redbud. Well, it is actually from the other side of the property. Tim Ritchie, who owns this track and runs it with his sister, Amy, he trucks in sand from the parking lot. This used to be a hard pack track. Now it's Sandy. Oh, and Hedrick, what a rough ride through that corner. And I gotta say, in these sandy conditions, it usually was advantage to Weenan, but Hedrick has definitely picked up his game. And pulling away right now. Remember a couple of years ago, those sand rollers. Just unbelievable what Weenan was able to do through there. Catch back up into this battle. Rastrelli, Janusa, Hogue, Ford. Saw Ford was trying to make moves on Hogue a couple of laps ago, and here they are in formation. Rastrelli trying to hang on to third. Janusa down to the inside. Nick Janusa. Yeah, the experience in the sand pits in New Jersey paying off there, and man, that's three or four times we've almost seen Hedrick throw it away. But he is gone. If you're winning, and you're gonna have to hope for the mistake or a big enough mistake for him to go down. He's made mistakes, but great job keeping it on all four here for Hedrick. One of the best rides we've seen from Janusa in a while, Ford. Trying to get around that group. Janusa Rastrelli staying with him. Hogan Ford there as well. Love watching this battle right now between this four pack. I think Hogue might be able to get back in there. These guys are pushing hard, as is this man, Joel Hedrick. Uh oh. 
Oh, I thought I heard the engine cut. Cut out. Might have just been him getting on and off the gas in that corner. Usually it doesn't sound quite like that. Ooh, this is just a joy to watch. Joe Hedrick still has that speed and aggression that he had as a young rider coming into this game. But he has coupled it with a lot more consistency this year. And they've stepped up. They're on the Yamahas now as a longtime Honda team. And Phoenix Racing runs Hondas on two wheels in almost every other form of racing that there is. But the Yamaha, a little more up-to-date equipment-wise for ATV motocross. The big difference being Honda had never updated their machine to fuel injection, where Yamaha did. So it gives them a lot of advantages as far as tuning. A lot more modern platform. So they go to the Yamaha here. And they get to run pretty much any livery they want. So you see the red on the Yamaha. And they run different types of graphics at every round. Shout out to David Eller, the team owner. Always dedicated to this series, despite having so many irons in the fire. With arena cross and supercross and motocross and amateur racing for the two-wheel side. Linquist did not see much of him in this moto. And now he appears to have a mechanical problem. We go back to this battle. Hogue has gotten around Rastrelli. He was in fourth earlier. He got passed by Janusa. Gets Rastrelli back. Love listening in on the helmet cam. Bryce Ford has been just out of that battle. He's been right behind that third, fourth, fifth battle in sixth nearly the entire way. And as we mentioned earlier in the show, very hot and humid today. So Hedrick, with that kind of effort, we know this kid's in shape. But man, that's going to be a big load in this moto. And then you got to come back and get it done in moto two. He's deep in a lap traffic right now. It's Cody Ford in front of him. And a white flag flying here at Redbud. Merman is done in this one. Must have mechanical problems as well. And Hedrick, way to get back on the board. After Wienan hung two motos up at the last race, Pleasure Valley, and also showing them the rough, sandy conditions, he can do it. We know Janusa can ride this stuff. This is probably pretty darn close to New Jersey-type riding conditions, even though we're all the way out here in Michigan, Indiana. And the checkered flag in sight. Yet another moto win. Big one for Joel Hetrick. Great run. There is Wienan second. Janusa going to hold off Hogue and Rastrelli. We get ready for moto two. ATV Motocross on MAV TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. Ready for moto number two here. It's Redbud. Chad Wienan trying to reset the order after taking second in Moto 1. Nick Janusa, a great ride third in the first Moto, and it was Joel Hetrick getting the win. Can he capitalize with the 1-1? Wienan leading into turn one this time. Hogue around the outside. Wienan's going to get it. Hetrick to third. So a little roll reversal here. Moto 1, Hetrick. Brief lead, Wienan got around, Hetrick got right back around, and it was the opposite of this order by the time we got to this jump in Moto 1. Ford ended up sixth in that first Moto. Let's see how he does this time. Janusa is fourth. And you love the fans blowing the air horns there. There's a good spectator section in the infield just off to the right of our cameras next to those sand whoops. And this is where Wienan excels. Tracks even rougher. And now he's got clear running room with one lap in the books. And you wonder how Hedrick will play it. I mean, he was really riding hard in that first moto. First, I mentioned the heat and humidity and everyone's strength in moto two. How much energy do they have left? But also the risk factor. We've seen Hedrick throw points leads away before. He does not want to do that this year. 
Now, a lot of it wasn't his fault. A lot of times it's equipment problems that have gotten him, but uh, you don't want to go down. How will he play it? Will he go for the risk? Will he go for the 1-1, the overall win? He's had plenty of those in his career. He is starting to close on Ween, and we might have a battle on our hands here soon. So we go back to Ford. And now back to the leaders. Ford has been mired. Sixth in Moto 1, sixth in Moto 2 right now. He just can't quite get to that group. That Rastrelli Hogue Janusa battle right in front of him. Hedrick closing in a bit more on Wienan, but isn't enough. Oh, it's getting closer and closer, but now running some experimental lines, doubling around the outside. We might have a race for the lead. He's side by side practically with Wienan now. Where can he make a pass? Wienan. So difficult to get around, and he's a dangerous man, right? He's running second in points. So he has nothing to lose, everything to gain. Kind of the opposite of what Hetrick, your series leader, is dealing with. He's got something to lose here. He's got to get through lap traffic. But what happened to Hetrick? Lost just a little bit of ground. So Hedrick not able, it looked like he was about to apply some pressure, but not quite. You see Rastrelli still hanging on for third, then Hogue, then Janusa. It's practically a flip of the order from Moto1. Man, this is good stuff, just seeing these two slug it out. And the big man from Galena, Illinois. Trying to stave off Hetrick and his championship hopes. Only one round remains in the series after this. That'll be at Loretta Lynn's. As Rastrelli and Hogue keep duking it out for third in this moto. Gosh, that's fun to watch. There's Rastrelli holding tough in third. Weenan still, if it ends like this, is going to be facing a deficit of around 30 points. He's going to need some luck at our finale at Loretta's, and it's happened both ways. We once saw Weenan lose a title with the machine problems late, and then the exact same thing for Hedrick. I think when a chain came off at Loretta's. So if you're Weenan, you just want to stay within range, at least prevent the title from being wrapped up today, which he will accomplish. But with the lead of over one moto, it's still looking good for Hedrick heading into the finale. And Hedrick aiming for his third championship in this series. Wienan has eight, and it would be a record if he could get nine this year. He's tied with the great Gary Denton, who many consider the greatest of all time in ATV motocross, but uh, might still be tied unless Wienan gets a miracle at the finale. All he can do is go down fighting, and that's what he's doing right now. He's pulled away, and I got to imagine Hedrick has said, I'll take second overall today. These two, a little bit different. They are not settling for anything. Rastrelli on the 28, Hogue on the 26. Hogue has been so good this year, as we mentioned. Three out of the last four races on the podium. For Wien in the series, really unwound quickly. Went with a fifth in the second moto at Daytona, then a fourth, uh, first moto the next week. Those are obviously not terrible finishes, but Wienin, he's almost a guaranteed podium in this series. So when he finishes off the podium, the Hetrick to take advantage. Hetrick did, won a lot of races early, built a big points lead, and now he's in position to manage it. But when you see him throwing down through that rough stuff, it doesn't look like he's backing it down. Let's imagine the leg strength. Oh, man. That it takes to pound through that sand. Victory soon in sight for Wienan and a smart ride for Hedrick. And they're going to take it down to the finale at Loretta's. Two to go. Rastrelli with a little bit of a gap now on Hogue. Is that going to be enough to put Rastrelli on the podium? I think that's the question because remember, third in Moto 1 was Janusa. 
He'd be looking at a 3-5. Hogue is back. Great racing for third. And Janusa's not too far out of it either. Could probably run an hour moto between these three and they'd be right there. They have been lockstep on pace all day long. Certainly fun to watch. Now it's white flag time for Wienan. And let's see if Ho can pull something out. And try to grab that podium. If it ends like this, Rostrelli will get the podium spot overall for the day. So Hogue has plenty of motivation to find an opening on the final lap. Hogue's still trying. And Rostrelli still has it covered. Final time through these whoops for Chad Wienan. And the Wienan Motorsports Yamaha team, they've definitely stepped up the game for motor number two. And he's backing it down. Over the top, it's what we call a Rocco's Leap here at Redbud. One turn remains. Chad Wienan looking for yet another overall win. Today he'll do it with a 2-1. Chad Wienan wins Redbud. And Joel Hedrick will take second, and I mean take it. He'll be more than glad to carry a strong points lead into the finale next week at Loretta Lynn Ranch. Rastrelli wins that podium battle. Let's talk to him. I think we're all exhausted. That was the gnarliest track on the circuit, I think, that we've ever ridden. And uh, we got there and, and finished third. And that was uh, a super big confidence booster going into the Loretta's with this uh, battle for third in the championship. So, yeah, super stoked to be up here. Can't thank the team enough. Um, thank you, guys, and thank you to the fans and uh, everybody that came out this weekend. Thank you. Uh, at the end of the day, it was kind of what I was hoping for coming into a track that's this gnarly. I saw the motocross guys here, and that track just looked brutal. And it was for us today, especially Moto2. And uh, I'm just so happy to be up here and, and finish the race. And uh, I just feel really good. I'm, I'm happy with the, the first Moto win. I pulled a little gap, and I felt like I was riding really good. And the bike was working awesome all day. Phoenix Racing has that thing dialed in for me. Elka suspension with, tuned by Impact Solution, just cooking all day. Uh, CST tires hooking up great, and uh, Dassa motor ripping. So thank you guys, and uh, we'll see you at Loretta's. All right, we just finished up here at Red Bud, 2-1 uh, overall. Man, uh, the motors were tough today, rough, rough gnarly. Uh, I just dug deep every single lap, and uh, we were able to get a whole shot that second moto, and uh, just pull a gap and maintain from there. And uh, great day here at Red Bud. Enjoyed every lap, and uh, all the fans out here cheering us on. It's pretty awesome. Red Bud! Ah, yeah, you got to be pumped when you get the win here. CST Tires race recap. Wienan, Hetrick side by side early in Moto 1. Hetrick able to wrestle the lead from him. Great battle behind with Janusa, Hogue, Rastrelli. Janusa would eventually get third. One of his best runs of the year on the number 15. Vincent Merman running into some mechanical problems. Hetrick would get away from Wienan. It's rough and tumble track. That was a big statement from him. There is the checkers. We go on to moto number two. This time a little better start for Wienan. He's got Hogue in the outside. He'll wrestle the lead from Hogue. Hetrick to second. I thought the challenge was coming. It's pretty close at the midway point, but Wienan would pull back away. So the focus shifted to third. Rastrelli versus Hogue versus Janusa for third in the moto and third overall. Rastrelli would get it. Hetrick 2-1 scores for the win, but there it is, the 28-point lead for Hetrick. Puts him in good position going into Loretta's. Congrats to everyone for enduring the conditions today. I'm Jason Wygant saying so long from Redbud.